Hypno's Vault is one of Minecraft's most appropriately rated prisons. It's surrounded by area bands covered in invulnerable end crystals and crawling with guards. And if escaping this monolith wasn't hard enough, any item I want to bring with me, I can only use once. I literally only have one of any item I want to use in this escape. So can I escape the most secure prison in this series so far with only one of each item? The answer is yes, of course I can. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is just get on this pile of rocks. So at this point, I can't get any closer to Hypno's vault without getting area banned. So we're going to have to start going up so we can pearl onto the roof. And for that, I'll open our first shulker box full of nothing but blocks. And since I can literally only use each item once, I have to use as many unique blocks as possible. And to do this, I literally just picked a ton of different kinds of colored blocks because it's the easiest way to get a ton of blocks that are technically different. Next we have more glass and tinted glass, yay. At this point you might be asking, Ken, why don't you have a block in your eighth hotbar slot? Well, actually I do. It's a gray stained glass pane, which is invisible in your hotbar. All right, so now I'm pretty sure I'm high enough. So I'll place my last shulker box and this is where I'll get my ender pearl. I might as well take everything else since I'm not bringing the shulker with me. And hopefully I'll pearl far enough. Perfect, we're safe. Now on to step two. So now that we're on the roof, there are two obstacles that are keeping me from digging straight down. The first one is immediately below this random layer of smithing tables, and it's this, bubble columns. Now I'll be able to get through the bubble columns, but the second obstacle won't be so easy. It's a mining detector. Like most prisons, the entire roof is being watched by several layers of observers, and if I mine down anywhere, they'll be able to detect. But here's the catch, in most prisons, the mining detector signal will lead straight to the kill switch and you'll just be area banned on the spot. But in Hypno's vault, the signal goes down to the guards and activates an alarm. In fact, the only way the kill switch can be activated is if the guards manually pull this lever. And that means if none of the guards are online, the kill switch can't be activated and I can dig down safely. But how are we going to force the guards to stay offline? Well, I'll give you a hint. I have a water bucket, a hopper, and a dropper. So, uh... You know. So I'm going to go to about x equals 16, which is right here, and I'm gonna build an area band machine. And this band machine is gonna be the prettiest band machine you've ever seen. I'm going to build the entire thing out of glazed terracotta, because once again, I can't use the same item twice. I honestly kind of feel like I'm playing randomizer skyblock. This is the most random assortment of items. And that should about do it. Now, the clock is going to be a little tricky to build, but believe it or not, I can build a clock with one of each item. I'm going to place a repeater here, redstone dust here, an observer here, and a block right here. Now, when I place this trap door, the observer is going to detect and power the trap door, which will activate the observer again, which will create an infinite clock, which continuously powers this dropper. But now we run into a big problem. To make the actual area band item itself, I need several signed books. I need a ton of books for this, but I can only bring one book. Unless I can somehow steal books from the prison itself, I mean, there's no way to do this. The only place in a prison that has that many area band books is an area band, and you can't get close to one of those without getting area band. So surely this is impossible, right? Well, in a normal prison, that would be true. But Hypno's Vault isn't any normal prison. No. Hypno's Vault actually has one very special feature that no other Minecraft prison has. Hypno's Vault's visiting process has four separate kill checks to check for items, but naturally Hypno's Vault doesn't trust any of its kill checks, so it has one extra item check, which I call a GUI check. If you have too much data inside your GUI, say for example there's an area ban, you get kicked from the game. The same thing happens if you open a container with too much data. Now in the final hall of the visiting process, Hypno's Vault has a chest containing just enough data that if you open it with an empty inventory, you don't get kicked from the game. But if you have any items on you, Obviously you get kicked and the guards know you've been smuggling items. Now this works in principle unless you bring an invisible kit with you and throw it just before you open the chest, but it has one huge problem. You can just take the books. Seriously, the guards have no way to stop you from just taking all of their band books. There's a redstone lamp that's supposed to light up if you steal all the band books, but like I said, it only lights up if you steal every single book, but it has 29 books and we only need to steal 27. And according to the Hypno's Vault video, the guard following you isn't allowed to check the chest. The best part is, to get you out of the prison, they don't even kill you and send you to world spawn. After you enter the cell, they just activate your stasis chamber and let you go free through an exit portal. So after visiting the prison, I just just took the books with me and put them in my light blue shulker box, and of course, I have them right here. Just as luck would have it if I fill this entire shulker box 
with books, this is a working area ban in Spigot 1.19. Which honestly, I think is the most hilarious way to use a prison's own security against it. Now we have a new problem. I can't just activate this area ban while I'm sitting here, or else I'd get kicked. I have to be at least 32 blocks away. But how can I make a redstone signal 32 blocks long without repeating items? I can't even use redstone or repeaters anymore since I used them in the clock. The answer, if I open these shulker boxes, is terracotta. Okay, I'm kidding. Any block would work, but if you haven't guessed, I'm just going to use pistons. So, starting at this end, let's just count to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I'll put the regular piston right there. And then... We'll put the piston here. And now this is the magic part. You'd think that two rows of pistons wouldn't be enough to reach 32 blocks. But if I put a block right here and the lever here, I can safely stand 32 blocks away and just barely reach the lever. And once I pull this lever, I will have safely activated a working area ban with no repeating items. Now I can safely dig straight down with whatever's in my last choker box. Um, not much. Okay, so you might be wondering, why didn't I bring a pickaxe? Well, okay, in the original comment for this challenge, it said that any items that have durability have to be at one durability, so I can literally only use them once. So if I brought a pickaxe, I'd only be able to, you know, use it once. So I figured it's not even worth bringing a pickaxe in the first place. Oh, man! All right, now I just gotta place a door right here so I can stand in here and break the soul sand. And as expected, once it breaks, the remaining lava turns to obsidian. So after this obsidian breaks, I want to pick up one of the lavas with my bucket. Now you could argue that I've already used the bucket when I placed the water, but I haven't. I used a water bucket to place water. Then I had an empty bucket. Now I've used an empty bucket to pick up lava, and I can still use a lava bucket later. All three of those are technically different items. And please? Yes, it worked. Okay. Day three of mining. I've gotten to the observers. I definitely don't have haste. I promise. I, I swear, I don't have haste. Man, I've just, I, I just, I've just been listening to this alarm for so long. I keep hearing it, but like, the guards just aren't doing anything about it. Like, I don't know if they're like off shift or. This is day thirteen of digging straight down, and I think I'm almost done. <gasps> Yes! Perfect! Okay, I just have to go down here, and boom! I can use the bed, just have to break it, and using the lava from Hypno's Vault's own defense set me and the prisoner free. And that's pretty much how you escape an amateur prison, one item at a time.